What's up YouTube? This is Madcock83. Today I'm going to show you how to install Buildcraft for Minecraft 1.0. I've already made a video for this, but I'm getting a couple of comments to say it worked awesome, it worked great, exactly how you do it, and I'm getting a bunch where people are having mistakes. So I'm going to try to simplify this as much as humanly possible. Uh, no music and no fancy stuff, just going to show you how to do it the easiest way I know how. Uh, first thing you want to do, find your Minecraft folder. I made a little shortcut to it. Most of you should know how to get there. Type in up here, percent app data percent, and it'll bring you to this folder. Uh, first thing you want to do, if you have any texture packs you want to save, this is a completely stock 1.0 version. Um, take your saves in your worlds and in your texture packs and put them in a backup folder somewhere else so you can add them back in later. Uh, other than after you do that, highlight all these and delete every single one of them. And then when you start up Minecraft, it's going to re-download everything. This is one step above force updating. Put your info in if you're not running any cracked version. Let it download the new bin file and all that good stuff. As you can see, we're on Minecraft 1.0. You have a brand new stock folder. No mod, not modded whatsoever. If you click back on your folder, everything's back in there. Alright, let's go ahead and start with the mod. Before I start, I'm going to add in the part that's going to be skipped from my last video. Please go over to the Xeno Gamers. It's not my new channel, but it's what I'm part of now. We're getting it going. Got a lot of good stuff coming up, a lot of cool things, servers, uh, spotlights, let's plays, all that good stuff. All right. Right click on your Minecraft jar, open it up with WinRAR. Delete that meta inf file, as always, with every mod. If you don't, you'll get black screens. And we're going to install Buildcraft for 1.0, too many items, and single player commands for 1.0. Um, these mods are simple to find if you don't trust my links. Uh, you can simply go into Google, let's say, too many items, and it's the first one that pops up. Click on them. Just read the page. Don't just start punching stuff. Actually read to find where the download link is. Uh, somewhere down here. Well, oh, I went right past it. Uh, it's right here. Download for 1.0. I'm not going to download all these because you'll have to sit and wait through AdFly links for all of them. My suggestion is to make a folder on your desktop. Call it whatever you want. I call mine mod pack for 1.0 just because I'm putting together a lot of mods to make another mod pack. Um, just type, just call it mods for 1.0 and save all your downloads into there. <clears throat> Once you've got your Minecraft jar open and you've got most of your downloads, first one you want to do is mod loader. Make sure these are all for 1.0. If you put anything for 1.8.1, nothing will work. Drop them in your Minecraft jar, hit OK, get next out of mod, lo mod loader. After you put in mod loader, start up Minecraft. What it's going to do is generate you a mods folder. You can make this yourself. I like to let the game do it for me, just so there's less, less errors on my part. Once you get to the start screen, just close it out, and that folder will be there. Plus, it also lets you know the mod loader didn't crash Minecraft. The next one we're going to add is mod loader MP. Make sure you get mod loader 1.0 and not oh Jesus, and not the one that says server right here. There's two of them. One's for server, one's for single player. Uh, after you've highlighted, oops, highlight everything in that RAR file and drop it on your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Now you can close out my motor MP. Next one's going to be 
Minecraft Forge client. Make sure you get client, not server. For those who don't know the difference, servers are multiplayers for servers. Client means single player. Drop all those in to your Minecraft jar. You can close out Forge. Um, and I go back to your Minecraft folder. You should now have a mods folder. It'll be empty. Download all five of these for Buildcraft, the 2.2.7, not 2.6. It's got a lot of bugs in it. He updated it, and then a couple of days later updated it to 2.2.7 because of the bugs. You're going to want all these. The core version, you can add that one and not add any other ones, and it'll still work, but you'll be missing a lot of Buildcraft items. Uh, for example, if you don't put this energy one in there, you won't get uh, engines. You won't get any of the engines that power everything. You're going to take all four, all five of these, I'm sorry, and you have to download each one separate and go through an ad link for each one, so it's going to take you a little bit of time. Copy all five and drop them into that mods folder. That's in your mine, dot .minecraft. Now once that's in there, Buildcraft is installed, but to be able to, instead of having, now you can you can go in the game and play just fine. You'll have to craft all the Buildcraft items and everything else. We're going to add single player commands and too many items so we can find these quicker. Uh, go back to your mods folder, the one for all the downloads. Open up too many items. Highlight everything in there and drop it in your Minecraft jar. Close that out. Next is single player commands. This one's got two parts. This world edit jar up here, skip that one and highlight everything underneath it. And put that in your Minecraft jar. Hit OK. Now you can close out the Minecraft jar. Uh, leave the single player commands open. Go back to your .minecraft folder. Go into your bin where your Minecraft jar is. And you're going to grab the world edit jar and just drop it in there. Now you can close out all these. Everything is installed. And let's shoot over to Minecraft. Alright, now we're in Minecraft. I simply did a cut over to Minecraft because this is less laggy. Um, as soon as you start it up, go into a single player world. You can either add your worlds back in. I'm just going to generate a new one. Uh, just let it call New World. And as you can see, single players automatically works because there's the banner for it. I am going to go in here and change a few settings so it will lag less and not hear so many animals. No get blown up by creepers. There is too many items. And since we have six pages, that's a good sign because I think there, yep, there's the build craft gears and the pipes. Uh, do, 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 do. Here's your tank and a refinery. Now here's something different with this build craft than in the past. When you put it in, you're going to get one engine. I didn't even notice this when I put up my last video about installing. Somebody pointed out they only had one when I went and looked in there. What Space Toad did was change to save space on item IDs. He didn't make, you know, this item ID for this redstone engine is 161. The next one would have been 162, and the combustion engine would have been 163. Now to save space, he gave him damage values just like, uh, just like wool, colored wool. Wool has an item ID of 35, and 35, 1 is a different color, so forth and so on. Now you can either craft, you can find a recipe to craft the uh, the regular. Uh, what are they called? The other engines? Let me see if I remember how to make one. You need glass, iron, oh, a piston. Uh, and gears. Let's find our gears. Iron gears. You know, we're going to need a crafting bench. I'm sorry, it always takes me forever to find what I need. probably screaming at me that it's right there and I don't see it. Let's see. 
Uh, let's see if I remember how to make it. I'll show more of these when I do a spotlight on how to make this. Uh, on how to play Buildcraft. But as for now... Yep, there's a combustion engine. And they're still in the game. They just don't show up on too many items. You can also... I could have sworn I turned the music down. Um, you can also get single player commands to give them to you. Uh, 161 is a redstone engine. Now, for some reason, if you have an engine in your inventory, it pops this crap up. Um, simply take out the engine you have and type I-161, that's that redstone engine, and it'll give you 64. In but if you have that engine in your inventory, for some reason, it gets all irritated. Uh, as for the other ones, give 161 colon 2 should be, yes, a combustion engine. And don't ask me why it keeps making me do this, but I gotta take out, I can't have an engine in my inventory or it will not work. 161 colon 1 should be the stone engine. And there you have it. Please leave me some comments and I will do my best to help you out. Uh, this is as simple as I can make it. This is, I'd give it about a medium on the difficulty scale of installing. Uh, there's much simpler mods. There are a lot harder mods. Industrial Craft is a pain in the butt, um, which I'll do next when it gets updated. Um, this is Mad Cog 83. Have a good day.